not what you do the point. The people of Jam have spoken, but analysts are now struggling to understand what precisely they've said, because the outcome is a hung assembly. The PDP may be the single largest party, but the BJP is not far behind, and the National Conference has done far better than pollsters predicted. So the question is, who will form the government? No party can do so on its own, but can the PDP credibly ally with the BJP? If it doesn't, it will need more than just Congress support to cross 44. Whilst an alliance with the BJP will give the Muftis a comfortable majority, but an awkward partner they promise to keep away from, with Congress, an alliance would be ideologically more comfortable, but the government would be weak and even unstable. Finally, the BJP's success suggests the regional divide between Jammu and the Valley could now also have become a religious divide. How worrying is all of that? These are the issues I shall discuss over the next one hour. My guests are Congress MP Manish Ankarayar, BJP spokesperson Shashad Richari, the editor of Rising Kashmir Shujat Bukhari, the well-known political analyst Gohar Gilani, and National Conference spokesperson Anil Dhar. But first, the former Deputy Chief Minister and Finance Minister, and a man who's destined to be a major part of any government the PDP forms, Muzaffar Hossein Beg. Congratulations, Mr. Beg. You've emerged as the single largest party, but are you satisfied with the number of seats you've got, or are you a little disappointed? I am a little disappointed. I, I, my guess was that we will be somewhere in the vicinity of 35. But the, uh, uh, it, it, the, whether we were 35 or 45, my stand has always been, I have always suggested to Mufti Saab that even if we have 45, we can't have a government of only Kashmiris or only of Muslims. Therefore, we must join hands with another party which brings in the representation of Jammu region, Ladakh region, and the people belonging to Hindu religion and Buddhist religion. So, in a sense, uh, the uh, job has become a little difficult because uh, expectation was that 35 plus Congress could easily make a government in case we, we, we decided to go with Congress. Uh, the other choice, of course, is going with BJP because then we have a comfortable majority. But there is a strange and interesting situation now. If, if uh, NC extends his hand of uh, cooperation to BJP, they will be 40. And if we extend a hand of cooperation to Congress, we'll also be 40. In either case, we will need the help. Uh, both the combinations will need the help of uh, at least four independent candidates. That means forming a government which will be just 44 against 43. Two members are nominated by the Chief Minister. So it would be a very fragile government, always uh, looking behind, you know, behind uh, uh, the uh, possible adversaries, catching up. Now, the third option, of course, would be if BJP and PDP can uh, have a common minimum program uh, for running the government and providing a stable government. So these are the options available. Now, in fact, uh, but, as, I, but, uh, the, uh, as I hear your it's answer, easy. it's quite clear, Mr. Beg, that you're coming around to convincing yourself and you're trying very hard to convince Mufti Saeed as well that the logical and sensible thing would be an alliance with the BJP. And there's no doubt that if you were to form that alliance, you would have a very comfortable majority in the assembly. And secondly, you would have a very valuable relationship with the center. The problem is, is such an alliance politically feasible? With the art of the, uh, you know it better than I do, the uh, art of politics is, uh, is, is uh, the, the, you know, uh, the possible. The only uh, possible uh, combination is this, to provide a stable government. Now the art of leadership is to carry people along. Uh, if we, if we are afraid of uh, forming a viable and a rational uh, alliance because people may, may have reservations about it, then we are not leaders. The but quality you know, of leadership is convincing people about the, uh, what is possible, what is feasible, what is desirable. Will you say the art of leadership is convincing people about what is possible and desirable? The first problem you face 
is that Mehbooba Mufti repeatedly during the campaign and in several interviews as well has said a reliance, an alliance with the BJP is ruled out. Secondly, and you know this better than me, many of your MLAs are now suggesting behind closed doors that if such an alliance happens, they might resign in protest. How do you convince Mehbooba Mufti? How do you convince these recalcitrant MLAs? Uh, this is a uh, surprising uh, bit of news that you are giving me that some MLAs are threatening to resign. I, I think uh, the, your source of information is either feeble or unreliable. Uh, I am an insider. I, uh, many MLAs talk to me also. Nobody has raised this issue with me. Everybody is interested. To, uh, 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 in a forming a government that can deliver. What about uh, uh, Mahbubah Mufti? Uh, Mahbubah Mufti and Mr. Prime Minister Modi, if you, if you have seen, I mean, there have been uh, allegations and, uh, you know, uh, stands uh, taken uh, during the campaign uh, which are no longer relevant. But she repeatedly I mean, in interviews said... But she repeatedly in interviews but, said an alliance with the BJP was not possible, it was not feasible, it was ruled out. Are you now saying she'll go back on what she said herself repeatedly? That is not the major issue. The major issue is that Prime Minister Modi has said that he would not like to join hands with the family. Uh, Absolutely, I was coming around to that. So, in fact, he so, accused, so, he accused so, the Muftis so, of so stealing the, and of being uh, thieves. Earlier, early, early, Yes. Earlier in the morning, I uh, 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 said in all humility uh, on another channel uh, that uh, farming an alliance with BJP is a daunting task, is a difficult task. Coming to an agreement uh, which, you know, on a common minimum program is a major challenge. If that can be sorted out, then these ego problems will fade into insignificance. All right. The real issue is whether we can agree on a common minimum program. Fine, you're saying to me very clearly that the statements made by Mahbuba Bufti repeatedly and publicly will no longer be an obstacle. You're saying to me the accusations leveled by the Prime Minister when he accused the Mufti family of being people who looted and were thieves and had stolen the money of Kashmir, that too won't be an obstacle. You're prepared to swallow all of that. I'm asking you to repeat it because I think it's so important the audience should understand. You will swallow and forget all of that. There is no question of swallowing anything. In campaign, many things are said. Uh, I, 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 I will again uh, refer to Prime Minister Modi. When he became Prime Minister, he said that BJP agenda as a party is one thing, but the government agenda is different. I, I, I think yeah, that's a very realistic approach. During campaign, unfortunately, in our part of the world, uh, campaign becomes uh, a, 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 it, it, it sinks into personal attacks. Uh, this is not a healthy trend, but we have to live with the fact that in our part of the world, uh, 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 electoral politics uh, is not a very honorable exercise of mind or speech. Uh, you, you want to uh, put the other person down, and instead of uh, you know talking about major issues that confront a state or a nation, okay. we try to uh, assassinate each other's character. This is a, a, a ugly fact of our politics, but we have to overcome that All when right. the issue of governance uh, confronts us. Mr. Beg, you're being very generous and large-hearted. Let's then come to the ideological issues that divide you from the BJP. You have serious differences over Article 370 over the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, now over the issue of conversions on which Mr. Modi is silent, but his allies and supporters and MPs seem to be strenuously pushing. And you also have serious differences over the hanging of Abdul Guru and the way the central government handled that. Can you overcome these ideological differences? Let, let us first deal with the last point you raised. Abdul Guru was hanged during UPA government. And our major uh, concern was that in the, if you go serially, Abzal Guru appeared at 28. He was singled out by the uh, UPA government. Uh, we believe with the knowledge and consent of the state government chief minister, and he was hanged. Okay. Now that sent a message 
that that the law be, was being flouted. Leave it is not a rule of then. law to pick. Uh, see, leave, so leave guru aside. That. Come to that come was, to Article uh, so 370. Come to we, AFSPA. Come to conversion. Article 370. You see, uh, so I have two points to make. First of all, that in the agenda, in the manifesto released in JNK by BGP, doesn't refer to Article 370. The second is that Mr. Modi has said that there should be a national debate on Article 370. That's exactly what we want. Because once there is a debate, Karan Thapar, you must have read Article 370, I'm sure, a number of times. Okay. If you see, uh, it, says, it says whether that article will remain or go will depend on the decision of the Constituent Assembly of JNK. Constituent Assembly of JNK on 14th of July 1954 passed a unanimous resolution that Article 370 will continue in its form and that was accepted and therefore three judgments of the Supreme Court that followed refer to this Article 370 and the, the fact that this could be changed, amended or abrogated only by the Constituent Assembly of the State of Jammu and okay. Kashmir you... and then the President could, could issue... So you're clearly so saying to me that a read... public debate on Article 370 will actually lead to the it's outcome welcome. that Article 370 yes. is permanent and the BJP will then change its position. Finally, that, that, that may or may not happen, but at the moment many would say that may be wishful thinking, but let's accept it. What about AFSPA? The BJP is committed to its retention. You clearly are committed to its reduction or revocation. We had uh, taken a position when we were in the government and later when we were out of the government, uh, uh, Mufti Saab wrote a detailed letter to the Prime Minister. I remember the words uh, used in that letter. He said the, he had taken a position that AFSA should be revoked in a manner that is responsible, responsive and calibrated, which means that the army should be taken on board and we should seriously, without any ego issues, see which areas are the areas where AFSA may not be applicable, not necessary at all. The Supreme Court, in uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, a, a case, in, uh, I think, presided over by Chief Justice Verma, has said that whether AFSA should remain or, or be lifted should be decided by the government after every six months. The reason given by okay. the Supreme Court was that an excessive exposure of the army to civil population undermines the respect Absolutely. and the authority of the army. Can I interrupt? I therefore, therefore, we will try, if we form a government, we will try behind the scene because we don't believe that we should bring these issues of national security and defense in a debate, a acrimonious debate in public. Mr. We May. have to sit together, confidentially discuss, and then it can be reduced stage-wise in Jammu and Kashmir. You know, Mr. Baik, two questions on this issue about allying with the BJP. The first question is this. You give me and you will have given the audience a very clear idea that you've thought through all the potential problems, you've worked out the solutions and answers. You clearly have done a lot of thinking about the possibility and prospect of allying with the BJP. Have you already convinced Mufti Saeed Muhammad to agree with your line of thinking? Have you already convinced Mehbooba Beg? Because it sounds to me that this degree of thinking and planning could not have been done by you without having them substantially on board. So are they already on board with you? Uh, maybe I am naive or maybe I am an idealist, but uh, 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 this is my view. But frankly speaking, we have never had a discussion so far of the Political Affairs Committee where we would have this, uh, you know, thought through these issues. The, 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 the submissions I have made through your valuable channel are based on uh, uh, the uh, t 12 years, 13 years of experience remaining in the government and outside the government. But I believe that before uh, uh, the week is over, that means within the next two days, we will be meeting and in the event uh, uh, we agree, we come to a consensus within the party that the feasible choice is uh, to, ally, uh, to have uh, BJP 
and the BJP and the PDP alliance. In that case, the various issues that will arise on the carbon minimum program, I will put forth my point of view before the uh, committee, and I think that uh, they, they will be convinced that these are not major obstacles. The real challenge before us is not just formation of the government or EFSA. The real challenge is whether the two parties can come together and achieve uh, what people of Jammu and Kashmir want to achieve by uh, facing all obstacles and threats and going to polls. The people of Jammu and Kashmir have put their life at stake and they expect some delivery, progress, they want peace, they don't want their children to be arrested or killed okay. or put in prison without trial and uh, therefore uh, the only way we can uh, contribute to the uh, journey started by our electors is to make sure that we have a government that can deliver. Let me put to I you think one that other is the real challenge. Let me put to you one other potential problem that might be actually a fairly substantial obstacle in trying to form an alliance with the BJP. Today you have 28 seats, they have 25, they are just three seats below you. Suppose they were to ask yes. as a condition that they want the chief ministership rotated after three years. That was the manner in which you formed an alliance with Congress, the chief ministership rotated after three years. Suppose the BJP lays down the same condition. Would that be acceptable to you as well as to the Mufti Sahib? Uh, 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 let me tell you, uh, Karan, behind the scene, Mufti Sahib was assured that he will be there for six years. Something happened. I don't want to get down into that, uh, you know, go down to that level. Uh, some people intervened. Uh, Bufti Saab was told at 5 o'clock that he has to continue. At 7 o'clock, he, he was told that there is some problem, and he said very graciously that, please, uh, I'm ready to step down, uh, despite the assurances, despite the fact that he had been called at 5 o'clock that evening uh, to continue. But that is another story. I think that uh, 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 Prime Minister Modi is a very serious man. He is a politician of a different mold. I don't think he will do these, these you know, politicking and, uh, you know, expect a rotation here and there. If we agree to form a government, I can assure you that this will not be a problem. Let me ask you one other question. As I hear you speak, not just the detail in which you've thought through the obstacles and worked out solutions, the confidence with which you're just saying to me just now that if you do form an alliance, a chief minister rotation will not be a problem. Have there been any back-channel contacts with the BJP? Have you yourself been in touch with people in the BJP? Because I get the clear feeling that you're uh, speaking I, on the uh, basis uh, of I, some uh, quiet but positive assurance. No, 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 no not at all. Uh, Karan, uh, there are some people, you know, some people who want to have brownie points, uh, whether it BJP or in PDP, who might be doing some footwork behind the scene. But officially, uh, Mufti Sahab or Mahbuba have not uh, so far uh, authorized anybody to, uh, to uh, start talking to BJP. And I'm sure the, the BJP has to uh, uh, make a call. Uh, they will authorize someone, okay. and then the two uh, parties can uh, discuss the matter. Two. Uh, I, 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 I am today, I am today not, uh, frankly speaking, I feel very badly about Congress, uh, that they have uh, taken a beating in the country, and they have uh, taken sort of uh, a very uh, 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 serious beating in uh, J&K also. I'm not happy because people must always have an option, and people should have the freedom to choose. This, today the uh, choice is limited, and Let the me choice put this is to you. a viable government. Uh, uh, Mr. Baig, the choice yes. is limited, there's no doubt about it, but there is an element of choice that you've ignored and it came up as a great surprise on another channel this evening when Omar Abdullah indicated that he was keeping a deliberate crack open to support the PDP provided Mufti Saab takes the initiative and contacts him. As he put it, he's not going to walk down the road to Mufti Saab, but if the phone rings, he'll pick it up and hear what Mufti Saab has to say. Is there any possibility that Mufti Saab might pick up the phone and ring Omar Abdullah and suggest some sort of support from the national conference. 
<coughs> in that case, we will be 43. We will be 43. Now, this is possible. I am not saying, I can't rule it out. But then it will be a government of uh, the region of Kashmir. To the exclusion of the region of Jammu and, uh, you know, even Ladakh. Uh, 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 it has been my stand that even, B, even if PDP can form a government at its own, even then we must have due representation of Jammu region and Ladakh region and people of different regions. Kashmir is not, uh, 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 is a very complex place. You know it better than, and you have done a lot of interviews in Pakistan also. You know what the problems of Kashmir are. So the only way we can provide an acceptable government is if it is not a, an exercise in majoritarianism, but if it is a decision which involves, which is all inclusive and which gives due representation Presentation to the uh, uh, sometimes conflicting aspirations of the Jammu region and my, Kashmir and Ladakh and the sub-regions. My last question to you, Mr. Beg, to what extent is your thinking in favor of, in fact, your very cogent arguments trying to persuade yourself and your own leadership that the best thing would be in alliance with the BJP, to what extent is all of this motivated by the fact that the results have shown a very sharp marked divide between the way the valley has voted and the way the Jammu region has voted. And what used to be a traditional regional division, now to some looks like a religious division. To what extent is that also motivating your thinking that an alliance with the BJP who won most of the seats in Jammu would help provide a political bridge over both this regional and this potential religious divide? Karan, way back, uh, in January 2013, I had an occasion to this, uh, discuss this matter with some very high up people in the government, then government, and uh, I had uh, expressed a, an apprehension that uh, uh, the way the uh, election was you know, uh, being visualized in the rest of the country, uh, if that is done in Jammu and Kashmir, it might polarize people along regional lines and finally against communal lines. I am afraid that at that time it was not taken very seriously. It was thought to be just a hypothesis of some an idealist or somebody you know, who is, uh, suffers from excessive fear of the future. But uh, the fact today is that there has been polarization. And this polarization is regional and even communal. Now that poses a very serious threat to the integrity of the state and then also to the integrity of the nation. Therefore, I think that the most desirable course for us would be to uh, swallow our pride, whether it is BJP or whether it is PDP, and work in unison uh, to ensure that this polarization doesn't undermine either the interest of the people of Jammu and Kashmir or pose a threat to the security or the defense of India. Right. And polarization <coughs> would remain plain straight in the hands of the militants and terrorists. Karan. Very, very quickly, one last question before I let you go. When does your political affairs committee meet? How quickly will you have taken a party decision about allying with the BJP? Are we talking about just a couple of days or are we talking about a process that could take longer? Uh, I, I, right now, uh, 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 some of our people that we really expected to win heads down have lost. I'm surprised why. I'm really surprised how it happened. Uh, so we'll give them enough time, you know, for, for you know, uh, licking their wounds. And there are some people who are celebrating. After the celebration and mourning is over, I think that will be the time when we'll meet and uh, take up this issue. But it may take time. So in other words, are you talking about days or are you talking about a whole week? A quick answer to that. Uh, well, I think uh, at least uh, three or four days. At least three Minimum. or four days. But Karan, the, Karan, but can the, I, can but I, but the, can I, but the can consultation I your, process may uh, go on. Yeah. Come in, Mr. Yeah. Chari. Can I through your channel say, place it on record that my admiration for Mr. Muzaffar Beg has gone a huge high grade of admiration for him. Has he, more to the point, Absolutely. suggested solutions to Absolutely. the obstacles I pointed out that would be acceptable to your party? Exactly. That's exactly why I'm saying he has really thought out the whole thing. He has put out a very logical conclusion for all the issues that we have been talking throughout the day. 
that all the channels have been talking throughout the day. The people of Jammu and Kashmir, I think, have taken a very strong decision and they have decided. In which case, if they were to decide at their political affairs committee in the next three days, that they wish to ally, how long would it take your parliamentary board to agree? Finally, it is, see, they are the single largest party. They have the right to decide. They have to form the government. And we have already extended our support to a strong, stable government okay. dedicated for development of Jammu and Very quickly, because I have to take a break and then we've got Obar Abdullah waiting to come on air with us. Very quickly, will you reflect his confidence that a rotation of the chief ministership would not be an obstacle, you won't ask for it? Not at all. It won't be a problem? It won't be a problem. You let all. Mufti Saab serve for full six years? See, these are all negotiations that can be settled. And if it comes to that, I think the confidence that he has reposed in Narendra Modi is very correct and very true. All right, gentlemen, we're going to take a break and end there. My thanks to you, Muzaffar Beg, for joining us, for being so open and so fulsome in your details. You've made a lot of news for the channel today. We're very grateful to you.